Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing well. So today what we're going to be doing and uh, this came about because of uh, some discussions that uh, I've had with a lot of you, my subscribers. So a lot of people have found that these wad cutter pellets are less accurate as we go out a little bit further in our distances. And so what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be comparing I've got a wad cutter and I've got a uh, Diabolo um, or a dome pellet. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be comparing these two at uh, 10 meters, 15 meters and 20 meters. And then we're going to see if we get a difference and if the groups really open up as much as uh, what we expect. So I'm going to be shooting three pellets at each of those distances. I'm not going to be shooting any leading in in between so basically just going to go for it what I've got set up there at my target left hand side is wood cutters right hand side is dome pellets so I'm going to start with uh, the wood cutters all of them is going to be through the single load tray so we should get pretty good consistency and let's see how it goes So we do obviously expect that the groups will open up. What we want to see out of this is how much do they open up and does the one open up more than the other. All right, so here's the third shot on the wad cutters. Alright, so that looks uh, like they're all touching. Now let's move across to the domes. This is a fairly cheap dome pellet. Uh, I think these are a bit better quality white cutters, so let's see how it goes. And uh, just remember, we're not looking to the proximity to the zero, but rather looking at the groups. All right, so we had some problems there with the second camera. All right, so it's back up and running. Here's the second shot, the dome pellets at 10 meters. All right, now I'm going to move back to 15 and see how it goes. All right, so now we're at uh, 15 meters. This time around, I'm going to start with uh, the dome pellets. So, and these dome pellets are a bit cheaper than the wad cutters. So uh, we just need to be, bear that in mind when we look at the results. Right, this is the third one at 15 meters. And that group actually looks pretty decent there. So, all right, so now three wad cutters.
Right, that one has actually gone up quite a bit. My aim point is exactly the same. So I think we're starting to see a bit of a difference. Let's move to 20 meters and see how that goes. All right, so now we're at 20 meters. And uh, again, we're gonna do the same thing. But this time we're gonna start with the watt cutters. See that other camera is actually a bit close there, but should be all right. Okay. So, bottom left target, same exact same aim point, so let's see how it goes. does almost seem to me like I can see the wood cutters a bit better. And that group definitely doesn't look too bad. So I think so far it's going to be a tough choice to say or to be definitive in our answer. Let's have a look at the, let's shoot the last group here. Still looks pretty tight with the domes. Let me go fetch the target, let's analyze it, let's see what conclusion we can come to. Alright, so I went to measure it up, so obviously on the left hand side we had wood cutters, on the right hand side we had the diabolos or the dome pellets. So one thing we just need to bear in mind, there could be a little bit of inconsistencies because these are not very expensive pellets, that's the one thing, and the second thing I am human, I can also make a mistake, so we need to keep this in mind when we look at these results. So, if we look at the wad cutters, we started off with a group of around about 8 millimeters, which was a nice tight group, and uh, on the domes we started off with 11, but the first two on the dome side went through the same hole. So this could be a bit of a flyer, so definitely... Um, on the 10 meters, not much to compare, um, pretty much neck and neck. Then when we went out to 15 meters, we saw the best group of the day was on the dome pellets, six millimeters. So that was a really nice tight group there. Um, on the wood cutters, we saw the group open up a little bit to 12 millimeters, but this one that was quite high, I suspect might have been a pellet with a bit of inconsistent weight or head size. Then we moved across to 20 meters and here we saw a nice group again with the wood cutters so it closed up again to 9 millimeters and on the dome pellet side we saw a group of 12 millimeters. So what's my conclusion? Well up to 20 meters I don't actually see much of a difference. I think I would be happy to use either of these pellets out to 20 meters and that is more or less the range that I'm expecting to use this rifle at. If I'm going over 20 meters I'd need to test a little bit more to see if there's a difference then but 
definitely out to 20 meters I think using wood cutters using dome pellets pretty much just as good as each other um, so yeah make sure that you get the best pellets that you can afford make sure you get the pellets that suits your barrel and you'll get good results so guys that's it from me I think uh, much over much use whatever you can afford and use what suits your barrel best. Till next time guys, happy shooting, see you around.